ist Mariana mit Kunst in Vermaak, Mariana Lawrence, ja, mit Kunst in Vermaak. Yes, Art and Entertainment with Mariana Lawrence and we have just been listening to the track Freedom sung by Sarah Thackeray. This is the title track of her new album and we have her here with us today in the green room inside our little theatre here in Central. She's smiling, but she says she's under a lot of pressure because she's a teacher and she's got to end the year off and so on. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Mariana. Oh. Just grateful for the break. <laughs> grateful for the break. So we'll come back to you about your album, because it's the second album. It is, yeah. Yeah, the second, yeah, yeah. It is the second one. And I've got right across me, Catherine Mayer. 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 Because it's an I. It's an I. See, now, German. Afrikaans person, <laughs> Germanic, Meyer. <laughs> but you say Meyer. Meyer. Okay, yes. well, you can choose this. Yeah, I know. This man I do it this. This man I do this. I know. I know. This is how I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak first Mariana with Mariana. Because I'm going to speak Marina, Marina, Marianne. I'm going to speak Marianne. Okay. Mar- Mariki. Ek meen, ek was al enige ding gelees. So, Meijer, ek meen dat Meijer, Meijer is klein verskil. <laughs> maar Catherine, en sy, sy noem haar self Kat, sy het die boek geskryf. En haar boek is klaar vrygesel, is gelaunch, yes, it's launched, we speak English here because most of our country's people speak English. I'm always keen to switch over into Afrikaans. I used to speak Afrikaans to your mom all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, miss her, hey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking to Sarah now. I knew her mom. Anyway, the book title is Fight. And the little caption, A Wrestle to Rest. Almost like a paradox there. So yes. we'll come back to you yes. and, and your book. And... I have Deborah. She's a surprising woman because she thinks she's shy and so on. But she started a business called Splash of Paint. And what I read there, it's for fun. It's splash classes. And it just sounds fun, doesn't it? It does. And you actually started it during lockdown. It was a little bit before lockdown. I started in 2017 while I was still working full time. And then at the end of 2019, I actually resigned and and carried on with it, only to find that three months later, we went into lockdown. That was a little bit of a challenge, but we got through that. And um, yeah, it's going strong. It is so nice to hear that because we don't always know what to do. And now, of course, we're into a new year soon. Correct. A few days to go. That's right. And we need stuff to do in 2023 so i'm going to then start off with you about sure. uh, because splash of paint is such a nice name it is, yeah. for, for something like that and it's eye catchy and it makes you think so tell us all because i don't know much because you don't say much, much on Facebook. I know, I stalked no. you on Facebook as well. <laughs> <laughs> I stalked you all on Facebook. Yes, I don't say too much. I just give uh, the pertinent details, really. But, yeah, Splash of Paint, the name came about, and my children still laugh at me. They said, you, you waited nearly a year to open your business because you couldn't find the right name, Mom. And, uh, yeah, I was a little bit hesitant. And when I looked at, I was Googling or, or whatever on Internet, I saw that some woman, and I think it was in 2008 after Hurricane Katrina in the States, had started doing fundraisers by doing one of these paint and sip type of classes. And I thought, wow, that's such a good idea. I saw paint and sip, And it was, I think they started it, I'm under correction, and I thought, what a great way to do something fun, and it was beginners, and that's what I was looking to do. Um, I have painted all my life, but not run any classes. I've attended classes, and... I thought, let's try this and see what happens and also incorporate some fundraising in it too, which is always a good thing to do. So Special Paint came about because I didn't want to put the sip part into it. It could be confusing it can because be confusing I'm sure it's, and, it's and not possibly <laughs> not alcohol that you've got in mind. It, well, a lot of it, it can be, it, a bit of wine. Is, and I don't mind. But if it's kids, because wine. I see you also pull the kids in. I don't really do many children's classes. It just depends because my classes are about three, three and a half hours long and you go home with your 
to completed painting, but I didn't want to make it all about the sipping side. Mm. I was more interested in the painting side. Mm, but yeah. yes, people do bring their bottle and I supply glasses and ice and tea and coffee. So it's either or basic. I didn't want the connotation to be on the sip. So yeah. I just wanted the splash of paint. And yeah, the emphasis is obviously free on, on yeah. sipping. <laughs> <laughs> and so you are a mom. I am a mom, but um, I'm a grandmother too. So um, yeah, I don't have children at home. Per se, but yeah, plenty of grandkids. Um, plenty of grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, so yeah. they, they um, I've only got one here in Port Elizabeth, but eight in all we've got. And um, children, I just find that sometimes the concentration level is a little bit um, long for them. And mm. so I sort of emphasize more on the adult paintings. Mm. Also, because if people do bring some alcohol, other moms might not really want their kids in that environment, you know, mm. so that's up to them. But we have a lot of fun and paint and everybody gets so encouraged to with everybody else. There's such a lovely vibe, you know, yeah. and, and we play old music and, you know, they're singing along. And, and that's actually nice with older lovely. people because I saw the pictures of the old ladies, older yes. ladies, I mean, they are age and older. Yes. And we've also got grandchildren and most of them are in other countries. Exactly. We've got a few here. It's really not nice. Yeah. yeah. And it's a thing that somebody can do, go by themselves. And honestly and truly, I've, they make friends in the classes because people yes. come across the classes mm. and have a lot of fun. And they so, can come and, and call on you other. absolutely at any time for help. What do I do here? Yeah. They do, they do. Yeah. I get yeah. people coming back and saying, I, I, I want to fix this. Can you fix this on my painting? And I say, Bring it back. I'll help you, you know. And do you do it at your home? I do. And so I've it's, got a very humble little studio. Broadwood Charlotte. Broadwood Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. And it's, I mean, if people want to get hold of you, yeah, it's all on the Splash of, splash of Paint we, um, Facebook page. Okay. And my phone number's there, my address is there. So they just go on Facebook, email Splash well. of Paint, yeah. and they'll find your email and your phone everything number. Everything is there. It's and the everything. So let me go back to Sarah <laughs> and let us get to freedom. Let's quickly slip back to the first album. Yeah, so last year, in the middle of the year, I released, um, an e- it's actually an EP, which is just a shorter album, but I find most people just know the term album. So that was my first album last year. And then in March this year, I released Freedom, which is the opening track we heard. Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, musician, singer, as I've said, and I also saw that you edited Kat's book, so by the way. I did. We'll get to Kat just now. Yeah, so you mentioned at the beginning that I'm a school teacher, so grateful to be on, on break right now. But before I went back into teaching a few years ago, I was working in writing and editing, and it was during that time that I got to work with Kat on her book. Yeah, because before that, she was a full-time mom. She was even homeschooling at the Whereas There was full-time mom vibes, there were homeschool vibes, there was writing and editing But now I'm back in full-time teaching. So being a musician kind of feels like it happens as and when. And there's a lot of lists that get made with the intention of doing things in the school holidays and that they kind of roll over to the next holiday and the next holiday. So there's always a list going in the background. Yeah, but also, I mean, I know because we did church together and you were a pastor's wife for a while. Yeah. You you and your husband pastored a church where we were so privileged to meet you. It was Mm. fabulous. And that, of course, is, is quite big. So those four kids are so marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a full life. It is. And did you escape to teaching? I don't know. Can <laughs> did you think you did? Can one escape did, to did teaching? You think, <laughs> did you think you were? No. But you so discovered you didn't. It wasn't an escape. <laughs> before, before we had kids, I taught. And then I had what I like to call my gap decade, where we had our four children. But as you said, there was writing, there was editing, there was pastoring, worship leading. It was all kind of in there. You also got a degree. I did. Don't be I, humble. I did post grad in there as well. I, do, I am. I am quite bookish, <laughs> yeah. nerdy. So I like to say yeah. I'm not ashamed of that. It was literature. Or? Yes, English literature. Yes, yeah. that was in there. Yeah, and that feels like a lifetime ago now. But yeah, yeah I music. remember that because you were taking strain there, <laughs> going to. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all of that. It's a long road. Post yeah, red, I won't yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Well well done. Thank you. Now Kat you because what I wrote here was 
You were part of Lockdown Letters. Yes. Because I, I actually interviewed a few of the ladies and Lisa Dodd mm. was actually the, okay. the, the one. Yeah. She was the, the one that, that I dealt with. And it was at the Coral Place. You must know about mm. it, yeah. But you weren't there. Not on that day. Not on that day. I was there. Yeah. 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 I'm sure you were there at times because the lockdown letters were 40 authors. I sort of came in in the last. All the authors were chosen and then Michelle Vimpany just felt so strongly from the Holy Spirit that I need to write the last one. So I wrote it and I'm done and the Holy Spirit said, uh, now change it. So I changed the whole thing and I sent it in and it became the last chapter. Yes. So that, that was big for me because I didn't really see myself as an author. I just sort of wrote in my times of intimacy in the secret place and then it grew into more. And now this book, Fight, I mean, it's a wrestle to rest, yes, so that it says something. It's, mm. As I said, it's, it's like a, a paradox, but of course... You also said further on, the clock is turning to a new hour of freedom and authority. I think that's in your book, or it's about your book. It also like my last blogs. No. <laughs> sure, but it's wait. a quote that I got from well, my Facebook. Like it might have been, <laughs> yeah, it, it, like it, it, it <laughs> might have been from your last blog. So that I just glanced yeah. over, but that's jumped out to me. Yeah. Yeah. So basically in 2019... The Holy Spirit started speaking to me about writing a book and um, as Sarah knows, I'm a very Afrikaans, Demokar speaking English person. I'm all over the show when it comes to languages, so I didn't really believe that I was author or writer. And when Holy Spirit really spoke to me, I thought, okay, well, let me try it. And in that season, I was in an intercession group with Sarah and we one day spoke about the fact that she edited books and we both just felt she needed to be the editor of this book and that was actually a lost project. She ended her before she started Before I escaped to teaching. (laughs) teaching, She she finished this book for me and I sent it to her on the 23rd of December 2020 and like it took me the year of 2020 so through lockdown, through all the trauma and all the unsure and all my kids and I've got a lot of kids being at home I wrote this she has more kids than me yeah I can say seven 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 Seven, yeah I've got five biological boys and then we're busy adopting two girls yeah Yeah, so through all that she also adopted yes (laughs) good Uh, I'm talking about Sarah Mm. yeah they can't see through the radio (laughs) yeah unfortunately So, yeah, she edited my book. And as soon as I said send, we went into a season of really big warfare. And we realized it was over this book. Two days after I sent the book to Sarah, they broke into the room that I wrote this book and they punched holes in. The, it was just so violent. And so, mm. and I realized there was something, it was a treasure in mm. this book. Mm. So we just stood through the whole of 2021 and we said, Holy Spirit, when the time is right, you tell us. And in March, of this year he said now go yeah and in the process we were like well, how how go what how and he gave me a second editor and then he told my son and i in different parts of the house but at the same time that we needed to open a publishing company mm-hmm. so then that's what we did and we are now learning how to be a publishing Publishing. company as well yeah yes wonderful yeah Yeah. Yeah. because it's not at all the easy thing publishing Mm. and self-publishing is difficult i know so many people have told me and of course you know we are in a spiritual battle in the world because people there many people who don't want to realize or see that we're actually fighting an enemy and it's the enemy of god yes but he's in control Yes. And so, therefore, books like these are being written and people are speaking and people yeah. are listening to the voice of the Spirit. I'm looking through the reggae stuff. Now, reggae is, got, is so controversial. But, you know, Bob Marley, he quoted all those quotes about, and it's all so profound. You know, God is God. He's going to look at the heart. Yeah. He's a color he, he looks yeah. at the heart. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So now let's just tell them how they're going to get hold of your book, Catherine. Is Boom your publisher name? Yeah, so Boomtown is our advertising company, and then we started Boom Publishing through Boomtown. To get hold of my book, my Instagram has got a link tree, 
And if you click on the link tree, it takes you to the order form. And it's super easy for South Africans. You just order and and a courier sends it out to wherever you live in South Africa. Other than that, it's also on Kindle. So for anybody abroad or that likes to read on a screen and not a book, you can buy it on Kindle. And then it's also on a chosen generation.coza on that website. Okay, because I've also saw that you are on hello at cat. Maya, yeah, yeah, that's my email. And that hello is Kat hello Maya. with a R. Yeah, hello. Um, hello. With a R. <laughs> an A. <laughs> Not hello. Yeah. And dot co dot z. Yeah. And Instagram, you yeah. see. But they can just look at Facebook as well. Yes. On Facebook as well. And uh, your book is about just one sentence. You don't want to give the book away. Well, the book is basically, the first five chapters is my life story. I've got a very hard, broken background. So it's the story of my life. And then how I went from wanting to commit suicide when just after my fifth baby was born and how I cried out to Jesus and said, if you are real, you need to prove Mm -hmm. that to me. And he picked me up from that place. He introduced me to the Holy Spirit and then how my life changed over the years and the keys that, that I was given and how to unlock deeper realms of the spirit and live in freedom. So that's basically what the book is about. And Sarah? Mm-hmm. You, of course, it's it actually says it all freedom. That's yeah. possibly why the song came, the song at her launch. Yeah, so are we yes. sing some of my music there. Yeah, yes. that speaks for itself. It does. The song, yeah. 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 And then you have any more albums? Uh, as, uh, must you first finish with school? <laughs> um, I haven't written in a while, but I, I hope that there will be many more. But yeah, the ones that I've recorded so far, you can listen to. Wherever you listen to music online, I, I, Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, Spotify Amazon, and also, um, on so, all Google social Play. media. Yeah. yeah. All social yeah. media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, you'll find me on Sarah Thackeray Media. And you can go Sa- Sarah Thackeray Media and it's yeah. Thackeray with a W. It is. In a silent middle. W, just yeah. to confuse us. Thackeray yeah. with a W and Sarah, as you say it, without an H at the yeah. end. So that's how we find you and your splash they can also find on Facebook. Mm-hmm. You, they can just go to splash of, paint. splash of Paint and we can go and have fun for mm-hmm. the New Year. So can I ask you then to mm-hmm. start with your New Year ending because we've got about two minutes left. I think my mm-hmm. techie husband said we've got five minutes left and that was <laughs> maybe six minutes ago. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, I'll just um, sort of my last thing is for the new year, my wish is that we all achieve balance in our lives between work and play, address any challenges one at a time, and treat everyone with kindness, love, and respect. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's how we going into 2023. And you, Sarah? Well, I think just as we've said, just I feel like my life's message is, is freedom. But I, I really believe that freedom is found in relationship with Jesus. So just, I guess my prayer for everyone would just be that they would know him, that um, they would experience that freedom, and just that you'd have a wonderful and blessed 2023. Okay, and for me, this morning when I was praying about it, I saw an old radio that was busy tuning. And the Holy Spirit said that the he- heaven is tuning in in South Africa and right now. And right now in this hour, we're experiencing load shedding, water shortages, violence, crime, all sorts of things that can make us very negative. But the Holy Spirit showed me Isaiah 43 and verse 18 says, um, stop dwelling. Stop dwelling on the past. And verse 90 says, I'm doing a new thing. And he said to me that in this hour, in 2023, it's going to be important for our mouth to stop dwelling on the old and start speaking the old, but only speak the decrees of the word of God, because he is about to bring great, great breakthrough in our country. So I want to encourage everybody listening. Ask God, what is the blueprints for your life and for your family? What is the blueprints for your nations? And just start decreeing the truth. And just be positive. Just be positive because he is doing a new thing. He has made it very clear that we are not going to stay in the places that we are. Thank you, Kat. That is so true. God is God. He will never change. Men distort his image, but God remains God and we do love him. And 
that's the main thing from there. Just mm. we can just go forth and yes. do what you girls have said. Mm. Just be positive as well. Absolutely. So thank you so much. Thank you. Be- thank you. Thank yes. you for having us. <laughs> we, our time has run out, but I want to say stay tuned because we have a very catchy tune, Little Fires from Sarah's album, <laughs> yeah. right after Lovely. this. My kids' <laughs> favorite. Yes. Oh, it's my favorite too yeah. because now is the time for me, <laughs> Mariana Lowens, and Art and entertain- Entertainment to say goodbye. See you next year. Blessings for 2023. Ja, Mariana and Lawrence wat nou groet met kunst en vermaak en goeie wense vir 2023. Arrivari!